It's Jennifer again with our final tip from five things you need to know before talking to your kids about money. This episode is called Let It Go. In this five-part series, I gave you some tips and tricks to empower you to talk to your kids about money. What hilarious points of view did your kids have about whose job money was and who knew more about money? My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and this is the Audacious Podcast. What is being audacious? It's asking for more in every area of your life and not being afraid of having more than your fair share show up just because you asked for it. More money, more friends, more juicy fun in every area of your life. So what is letting it go about money? And what's it going to create for your kids and teens? Isn't it all about controlling money and saving money and having a stash for an emergency? Does any of that make you feel happy or empowered? I'm here to tell you that if it doesn't inspire you, you're not going to be empowering about it with your kids or even for yourself. What if the one, one of the reasons to keep money coming into your house and into your kids' piggy banks was so that you could have fun with it? Oh, what? Are you kidding, Jennifer? Money is not for fun. It's for the future. Ha <laughs> ha Not so. I challenge that the reason to have money is to enjoy your life. We can start by showing our kids that they can contribute to a fun future by contributing to a community chess jar in the kitchen, choosing a fun thing that the family's going to do this week and putting, putting money into the jar from chores, a paper route, the grandparent or auntie art auction, their Christmas money. You can let them know that you will match their contribution and then everyone can have fun. When we make ourselves the sole source of entertainment funds for our kids, we don't allow them to contribute to the value of the event. Who knows? They may choose to keep their money rather than go to the movies or the ski hill. What if that's okay too? Whether you are a saver or a spender, there are so many empowering things that you can do to change your financial reality and also inspire your kids to step into their magic with money. So that was the last of our five-part series on what you need to know before speaking to your kids about money. For more tips, tricks, tools, and getting more audacious in every area of your life, Please like, share, and subscribe to the Audacious Podcast and come and say hello on social at Jennifer Kramer Lewis.